Hey everybody, my name is Shauna. Welcome to my Shauna Moana channel. And obviously today is not like my other videos where I'm at home and I'm talking about different stuff. But we are in the forest near my house. It's pretty much just overcast, but it's been nice for the past almost week. It's been nice I think for like the past five days maybe, I think. But we're supposed to have a snowstorm on the way and of course, this is as far as I'm going to go here because of that. I'm not really sure how far this goes, but it's always very muddy, obviously because it's a forest, so, you know, it's not going to be completely dry. It's just the way it is. Anyways, I'm going to be talking about my learning disability so people get better education and they get to know me and they get to know why I am the way I am. And basically, there's a car that's driving by who's probably like, what the F is they, like, what are they doing in here? <laughs> they probably saw me because of the white coat, obviously. But, guys, I was going to wear my headphones, so I had my headphones with me. But that wasn't working out, so I decided to make a video as I am doing it right now. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my learning disabilities only so people can understand why I am the way I am. Um... So a little bit of backstory about me is that I was born in Burnaby, British Columbia and I moved to Ontario and uh, it's all in Canada by the way um, because it was cheaper and uh, I'm just going to start. Um, my mom had me when I was eight, when I was 18. <laughs> my mom had me when she was 18 and uh, she had two boys before me. So she had her firstborn who passed away from, I think, she, from what I heard, my first brother passed away from a mattress that unfortunately fell on him. And I think that's why I'm named Shauna, probably named after him. Um, I think, I'm just, you know, I don't know my real parents, so I just, I don't know. Um, my mom, gave birth to her second son, who is my older brother, and we see each other once in a while, but um, the CAS found out about my first brother, and uh, I don't know if like somebody told on my mom, and then she got in trouble with the CAS, so my first brother was put into foster care, and when the CAS found out that my mom was pregnant again, they put me into foster care um, the night I was born. Actually, I think I, I think my foster mom at the time, she came to pick me up from the hospital the next day after I was born, because I was born at night, from what I heard. Um, and yeah, my, you know, a few years later, my mom had a another son and they got banned from, well, my mom got banned from BC because she threatened the judge and yeah, I hope you know what I mean. Um, so she, last time I talked to her was like a few years ago and last time I heard she was living in Saskatchewan. She had another son. He is, I'm not really sure if he's like a good person or a bad person. I mean. We were talking for the first time on Facebook. We got to know each other a little bit. And something happened. There was kind of like a fight. And we haven't talked to each other since. I'm not really sure if I'm ever going to come into contact with him again. So we'll, we'll see about that. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little, a little background of mine. And I hope it wasn't too graphic for anybody. But I just wanted to show you guys my story. You know, I was I was raised in a foster home of um, three sisters, and of course my biological brother, he stayed with me. The CAS didn't want to separate us. So um, when I was a kid, they found out that I had FAS, and you know, my mother was kind of like a party person, and she was drinking at 18. I'm not sure if she was drinking in uh, her early stages or her late stages of pregnancy, but fetal alcohol syndrome, what it is, is 
obviously it's when a mother drinks during her pregnancy and it causes irreversible brain damage, it causes permanent brain damage, there's nothing you can do about it, there is no cure, there is no treatment, I don't think so, well, you know, technology and, you know, electronics and medicine have definitely developed over the years, so which I, I just don't know about it, um, but they just, they found out that I had FAS when I was younger, and, you know, growing up, I was, um, having trouble with my motor skills so like playing basketball or playing soccer sometimes I would often get the angle wrong um, it affects your memory so I can't really remember a lot of things it takes me some time it takes some time for me to remember certain things um, it does affect your speech um, it also affects some facial features and it's not really a scary disability, I mean, um, you know, my whole life I was raised thinking I'm, like, I was always different, but I just, I wanted to know what was wrong with me, and then, you know, when we had the, we were cleaning out the basement, and I found some medical papers about me, and about the doctor evaluations that I was going through, and, the, um, you know, we were having the CAS with me, and I was seeing therapists, and that's when I kind of discovered that I have fetal alcohol syndrome, and uh, for short, that is FAS. But I also have what else? Do I also have auditory processing disorder, which is comprehension disorder. It's uh, also known as APD, and it, that means it takes my brain a little bit longer to understand what someone is saying. Like if my dad is trying to explain that he wants to fix my laptop. Sometimes I get mad because I don't understand him. I don't understand him until like maybe a couple minutes after I get mad, and that's a really guilty trait that I have, to be honest with you. Because I hate when I get mad at people. I, I get that guilty feeling, but that's just the way my brain works. My brain takes a long time to. It takes a little bit longer for my brain to process information, and um, again. It does affect my memory. It's well, it's the same. It's not really the same thing as FAS. I mean, except the memory part. Um, so, yeah, those are the only two disabilities I have. APD can often be mistaken for ADHD. They have similar symptoms, um, but yeah, those are pretty much the two disabilities I have. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a, like a little background of where I was coming from. But my childhood was good, and uh, it, you know, you go through the family fights, you go through arguments, and that's normal in the family. I was never abused. None of my siblings were never abused. Uh, did our fights get physical? Sometimes. Like I said, fights are normal in families. I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of here. Um, I think that's like my footprint. <laughs> um, you know, every family is going to be different. And not all families are going to be 100% perfect. And I think, you know, when I was telling my brother my, about my disabilities, he's like, you might be on the milder, um, milder autism spectrum. So I, I could possibly have that. But like I said, I don't think I said this before, this is probably not going to be my only video where I'm going to be talking about my learning disabilities. I want to talk more about it because I can only record for a certain amount of time. And I felt a raindrop, which is why I was starting to walk out of the forest. But I want you guys, guys to know that I live on disability and in my next video I'm going to be talking, which is on Friday, I'm going to be talking about my life is not a vacation just because I live on disability and it's not something to brag about it's not something to be so proud of like am I happy that I still have a home and I have a family and I have food I have clothes and I'm able to go to Toronto and Cedar Point and to go to Detroit and to do stuff that I enjoy like I'm, I'm thankful to have that I'm thankful for my life and sometimes I do wish I was normal 
you know, I wish I could easily go get my driver's license or get a well-paying job or go to school like everybody else. But unfortunately, with my disabilities, it's harder for me. And some people may not understand that. And life is not a competition. Everybody should be grateful for what they have in their life. You know, it's not going to be 100% perfect. And I'm getting close to the end of my video. So, guys... Please continue to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, turn on that bell for notifications. The only social media links I use are pretty much Facebook and Twitter. I am so old fashioned with that, but I will be talking more about my learning disabilities. Um, this is probably going to be a new playlist. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to come back here and do a, another video. I'm going to have to make another video probably here or maybe somebody maybe somewhere else not somebody else but i'll see you guys next time okay next time i uh make a video on friday all right peace